Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. So today's questions are on the FARs. We're going to look at 14 CFR Part 21 Certification Procedures for Products and Articles and 39 Airworthiness Directives. So let's begin. Okay, question number one. How long does the airworthiness certificate of an aircraft remain valid? A. As long as the aircraft has a current registration certificate. B. Indefinitely, unless the aircraft suffers major damage. Or C. As long as the aircraft is maintained and operated as required by federal aviation regulations. Okay, so the answer is C. As long as the aircraft is maintained and operated as required by the federal aviation regulations. Right, so as long as the airplane is airworthy, the airworthiness certificate remains valid. Maintaining and operating the aircraft according to the FARs fulfills this requirement. The aircraft registration, similar to a car registration, has to do with ownership, not airworthiness. And the certificate is not valid indefinitely. If there's any damage to the aircraft, the airworthiness certificate remains valid if all required repairs are made. Okay, so question number two. What should an owner or operator know about airworthiness directives, ADs? A. They are for informational purposes only. B. They are mandatory. Or C. They are voluntary. Chester County traffic, Cherokee 4837 Sierra's clearance 29, Chester County. Okay, so the answer is B. They are mandatory. ADs are used to notify aircraft owners and other interested persons of unsafe conditions and to specify those conditions under which they may continue to operate. So ADs can either be emergency in nature, which means they require immediate compliance prior to further flight, or less urgent in nature, requiring compliance within a specific period of time. ADs are mandatory and shall be complied with unless a specific exemption is granted. Okay, so question three, and this is the last question for today. May a pilot operate an aircraft that is not in compliance with an airworthiness directive, AD? A, yes, under VFR conditions only. B, yes, ADs are only voluntary. Or C, yes, if allowed by the AD. Okay, so the answer is C, yes, if allowed by the AD. Remember, ADs are mandatory, but not all ADs require immediate compliance. So ADs can also be less urgent in nature, requiring compliance within a specific period of time. So that's all for today. Thanks for coming along with us. We hope you will join us on a future flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.